Another hockey weekend for the Concordia College men and women's hockey program. I'm now joined by the men's coach, Chris Howell. Chris, it's been nearly two weeks since you guys have faced an opponent. You guys anxious to get back on the ice and get at it? Yeah, the players are excited. It, it has felt like it's been a long time since we played Bethel a couple weeks back, but it's been a nice break and you know, our kids got to get home uh, for the holiday, which is nice. And uh, previous years we've stuck around. So for them to be able to go home, be with their families, get some, get some rest is, a, is always a good thing. And, and they're really excited. It's been, it's been a good, uh, we've practiced Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and now we'll practice today. And it's been a, it's been a good group of practices for our team. So we're, we're excited to play again. It's a big matchup with uh, St. Olaf. They are actually 500 both in overall and in conference. And, they are what I would call an up-and-coming team. Last year, they came here and split with you guys, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yeah, they're very good. They're well-coached, really structured, really disciplined. Their kids uh, are going to play extremely hard, and uh, it's always a tough place to go play. It's a small rink, and it's a great atmosphere, and, and it will be a great test for our team to be able to go down there and, and compete. and. Uh, again, a Mike Eves team is, is always a, a great test there. Uh, he's, a, he's a terrific coach, and, uh, you know, it's going to take everything we have to, to come out with a, the results we want. What are some of the strengths that they have that you guys need to, not to say be concerned with, but pay attention to? Well, the, you know, they're very, uh, they're going to they're gonna sit back and they're going to, uh, you know, be very opportunistic on any type of turnovers that we make with the puck. We have to be really good with the puck, uh, you know, coming, coming through the neutral zone and being responsible on the lines. Uh, be, it's important that we're going to get pucks. We have to get pucks deep and we can't, you know, we just can't be careless with the puck. And that's a big thing that, you know, we been working on is, is, you know, when we have the puck, when you have the puck on your stick, you're responsible to make a play and make the right play and, and uh, you know, just to, to be aware that that's your, that's your responsibility with the puck. So that's going to be important. Uh, again, again, their other strengths are they're just, uh, they're a deep group of guys and uh, they create chances off a of transition. So we're going to have to just be aware of that. Yeah. Now, with the, the, you know, the time off, you guys had a chance to heal up maybe some, some injuries. What are you looking like health-wise? We're good health-wise. We do have one player suspended from a, a plague in the Bethel game. So uh, Jake Gillinson will be missing Friday night's game, and La Zach Lambrick will be jumping up there. Uh, other than that, we are healthy, which is, which is nice at this time of year. And, uh, again, I, I think we're, you know, I really like the way we're starting to play and uh, excited for another opportunity on Friday against St. Olaf down there. It's going to be good. Right. Yeah. Now, you talked about the small rink that they play in right now. It's a community rink, if I'm not mistaken. Talk a little bit about them and the process of nearing construction on a new rink, and what does that mean for the MIAC to see the commitment from a school like that? Well, it's, it's exciting. It's exciting, uh, you know, just being a person up here that would love to see that happen. It's exciting that another school is doing it, and you know, showing that they, you know, they're going to put, you know, some emphasis on hockey uh, in our league. And it's, it, I think when any school does it, it, it brings a lot of optimism to other coaches in the league. It's, it's, it's like, hey, this actually is going to happen. Um, as, as far as uh, their rink right now, it's a, uh, it's, it is an old, the classic community rink. And it's a little bit shorter, a little bit narrow, and it's, it creates a fun game because everything happens really fast. Uh, which, you know, the kids love it because it, it is a fun little, you know, the puck's carrying quick, and it's, <laughs> it's going to create some, uh, some interesting plays. It always does, but there's always great games there because of it. But, you know, again, getting back to the new arena that St. Olaf's looking to build, it's, it's, it's really exciting for not only them, it's, it's again, it it's brings optimism to all the other coaches, like, hey, we got a pretty good hockey league here. Uh, we are starting to come on as a group of teams all across the conference, and it, it's a lot of fun to see uh, just the level of play across the board be so high right now. Yeah. Now, you guys are playing at 7.30, 7.30. on Friday and 1 o'clock on Saturday, uh, an yeah. hour earlier than you typically play. Yeah, what uh, happened was uh, Coach Ease uh, didn't, you know, he, this is his second year in the league, so last year they came up to play us. 
and it was a seven and two, but he didn't realize that when we travel, um, they do the same thing. So he called and said, hey, Gordy, I forgot to, you know, we, I didn't know that we we're supposed to schedule it at two. There's two high school games going. Can we play at one? And I'm like, hey, that's, that'd be perfect. And our kids would, you know, they like getting back, you know, at earlier than being back at two in the morning. It's nice to get back by 10 o'clock. So that's what happened there. And, and I really am thankful of Coach Eves for helping us get that game at one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good luck this weekend, Chris. Yeah, thank you. It's going to be fun. <laughs> That's men's hockey coach Chris Howe.